not so eager anticipation from the crowd here as the women's doubles players make their way onto court. European champions, there they are from Russia, the left and right hander, Lanaria Sorokina and Nina Veslova. Nina Veslova is the left-handed of the two players and the younger of the two players as well. Up against the number two seeds, Mizuki Fuji and Reka Kakiwa. There they are. Already been in three finals this year, having won the German, reached the final of the All England, and of course the last of the Super Series events prior to this one in India, in Delhi. So for the Japanese pair. Tough match yesterday against their teammates Matsutomo and Takahashi. Dropped the opening game before coming back in an hour and 16 minutes, and they are a very physical pair. There's Mizuki Fuji, 22 years of age, and she and her partner rank number four in the world. Kiwa, just 21 years of age, so she'll turn 22 next month, 19th of July to be precise. So the European champions, the left-handed and right-handed combination, number eight seeds, number nine in the world ranking, there's Nina Vizlova, 24 years of age making their third appearance here at the Singapore Open. Last two occasions, 2007-2008, lost the first round. So this quarter-final appearance, very much their best ever Singapore Open. Winners of 23 career titles, but never have they won a Super Series title. Best Super Series as a result is a couple of semi-finals for the Russians. But as for the number two seeds, we're looking at Reka Kakiwa. And there's Mizuki Fuji. Playing together regularly since 2008. Although 2009 was their first full year on the international tour. But really shot to stardom when they reached the All England final earlier this year. Lost out to Wen Xiaoli and Yu Yang. Who are now the world number ones. Chulid Madad, Magad of Indonesia, our umpire. And Richard Ting is our service judge. There he is. Well, I can remember first watching Mizuki Fuji and Reka Kagiwa when they reached the final of the Austrian International in Vienna two years ago. Lost out to a certain Cheng Chu and Zhao Yunlei of China. And of course that Chinese pair went on to become world number one. So they've now been split as a combination. Yes, oh, and for the Japanese pair, three career titles. And they, like their opponents, have never actually won a Super Series title. And the Russians last year, what a wonderful year they had. Four titles. Dutch Grand Prix, Russian Grand Prix, White Knights event, which takes place in Russia, and, of course, those European Championships. So, for the Russians, yeah, they had the most thrilling second-round match yesterday against the holders, the home favourites, Shinta Mulia Sari and Yao Li of Singapore. Had to save a match point in the second game because, of course, they dropped the first 14-21. Won the second game 22 20, having been 19 20 down, and that match point, hour and three minutes it took them before they won through 21 17 in their deciding game. But that was 13 minutes quicker than the Japanese players who needed an hour and 16 minutes for their victory over Ladies teammates and yesterday. On my right, Valery Sorokina. And Nina Vislova, Russia. And on my left, 
Mizuki Fuji and Reika Kakikawa Japan. Padres to serve to Mizuki Laval play. So the European champions from Russia nearest to us, Sarakina and Vizlova. Up against the number two seeds, Fuji and Kakiwa. This is the third meeting between these two pairs. One loss. First two meetings, the honours have been shared. Well, last time they met was in the first round of the first ever so million dollar One badminton more. tournament. That was the Korean Open Super Series event earlier this year. The first ever premier Super Series event, the Korean Open. Fuji and Kikiwa won in two straight games. First time they met each other was in the final of the Dutch Grand Prix two, one. last year. And it was the European champions that won on that occasion. Good return. Of serve. Often see this in doubles. Use in the mid-court area, get it past the net player. Make the shot land in front of the rear court player. that are very physical, very fit. Japanese pair known for their defensive qualities and prepared to just extend the rallies. Getting in a muddle there. The Russians. Vislova going forward to the net. Yeah, out of position. Partly did well to retrieve the shuttle. They've got a very awkward looking defence to me, Nina Vislova. Seems terribly committed to one side or the other. Committed to the backhand defence. Japanese pair look a little more aggressive in their style of play than I'm used to seeing them. So often in their matches, they're just so content to lift the shuttle and defend, but they're really being quite aggressive, looking for attacking opportunities. No, yeah. wasn't deceived by that slow Maybe drop shot at all. Six. 
Take it over. Seven four. Good angle. Sarakina. Both these two Russians, very Six, fine mixed doubles seven. players as well. They won the European title last year in Manchester. Three-point deficit has been closed. Ah! Service over, 8-7. Over. Yeah, quite Eight definitely ball. to me, the Russian combination looks so much better when they're on the attack. They don't seem to have the same quality in defensive play as their opponents. Their opponents seem to be able to weather the storm so solid in their defensive play. So I'm a great believer that doubles is all about attacking play. Japanese pair. They're just really working their opponents so solid in defence and Russian combination just can't find a way through at the moment. Oh! My goodness me! Well, the Japanese pair stopped playing. They were convinced it was a double hit, and I think they have a fair point. Did it touch Vislova? Oh, the Japanese pair are arguing their case. It hasn't been called by the umpire. Oh, it was wonderful reactions on the defensive play from Nina Veslova. There was a real suspicion the shuttle may have touched Sorokina. Ah! Takes over. Nine all. been as high as number two in the world, Fuji and Kakiwa. Oh, that's well wide. Yeah, 
Save your soul, brother. Ten. Oh, she must be aware of the Nine. drift by now. Sideways drift as well as a lengthways drift. European champions with the advantage. And for the number two seeds. Well, who survived that match point yesterday? Sorokina and Vizlova against the defending champions from Singapore. And of course, all the crowd were right behind Shintamulia Sari and Yao Li. I don't know if you can weather that sort of storm. Draw huge confidence from it. Two-point advantage with Anarina Sorokina and Nina Veslova. Service over. 10-11. Flatter smash this time had the desired effect. And it's not just varying the power, you've also got to vary the angle. Some a little flatter, some very steep. That's lovely defence from Reika Kakiwa. Cross court block played to perfection. Defence. Oh, yeah, this low back. Oh, my goodness me, it's effective, isn't it? Looked a most peculiar to shot, but just blocking it over the net into the open space. Wide and long. 15-11. There's a game. Goodness me. 16-11. How on earth does she play this? Almost seems to scoop it back. Mm, opened up a five-point cushion now. It's a healthy lead. Yeah, 
and pushed it wide. Service over. 12 of 16. only hit one shuttle in this rally. There's a second. This is extraordinary. Everything directed at the left-handed Nina Veslova. Obviously believes she is the weak link. It was a long, hard rally, and only two shots played from Sorokina. She's missed it. 14-16. Narrowed the gap to just two points. Ah! Now just one point in it. Well, the problem is when you cut out of a game as Sorokina has been. When you do eventually get the chance to hit the shuffle, you feel you've got to try and do something extra special with it, and that's when you start to make errors. <laughs> Flick serve is long. Save is over. 17-15. Yeah, good call. Going so far out. Oh, it's a good rally. Finished off in the end from Slovakina. Oh goodness, Vizlova's having to work hard in this, isn't she? She prefers to be playing from the back of the court, but she's been isolated there. And look at the reaction at winning the point. Ah! 
There's a little hand signal letting our partner know where the serve's going to be played to. Well, Flick gained no advantage. Oh, he did. Called long of the back line. Could prove a costly 18, error. 19. where she looks so awkward when she started her stroke they're going to play the forehand and yet it was from really her backhand side between the left hand up short Here's a move forward from Sorokina. And that aggressive play has brought the Russian combination, the European champions, two game points. long. Uh, she was right to go for it, trying to intercept. Well long of the back line. So that's one game point that's come and gone. One more remains in favour of the Russians. again she's determined to try and play that return of serve with the forehand action and yet it's going towards her right shoulder she really should be playing the backhand and that error on the return means that the second of those two game points has been squandered 20 all will need extra points until there's a clear two point winning margin oh dear. 21 20 So having just saved two game points, now the number two seeds have a game point of their own. Yeah. And they convert at the first yeah. opportunity. And the European yeah. champions will be wondering what on earth went wrong. Four straight points from the number two seeds to close out the opening game. 22-20. Formation 22 20 in 23 minutes of play. So, both players having the opportunity to talk to their coaches.
Well, they'll be mightily happy that they've secured that opening game, having been 18-20 down. The number two seeds, Mizuki Fuji and Oreka Kakiwa. Second game. Down for most of the game. 15-19 adrift. Play. And they found themselves are slightly fortunate because they were gifted a couple of crucial points towards the end of that opening game. The errors on the reserve have served from the Russians. When I said One in the love. early stages of the opening game, I thought that the Japanese combination were looking more aggressive than I've seen them in the past, but they seem to revert back to their usual style of play, but they'll have to be awfully careful this near side of the court as we look down if they want to just lift because I'm not sure with the drift in this arena whether that's entirely sensible. there for Sorokina and she'll be very disappointed about that play from Kakiwa. Gradually made her way forward to the net. getting through so with a smash. signals I think the first is letting her partner know where she's going to serve to the second is which shot she's going to try and cover Slova. And 
and soon as Sorokino gets herself involved, really makes the difference within the rally. between the two Russian players it looks to be a little strained at the moment. coach doing her best to encourage her players So much just keeps coming back from those Japanese rackets. Well, the umpire virtually telling the players to go off court and have a towel down. Both the Russian players seem quite content to remain on court while the court was mopped. Twenty-three career titles for the five. Russians. But never a super series. Nine five. Two Super Series semi-finals, those were both last year, Danish Open and Hong Kong Open. The Japanese women's doubles were really six, strong against six. And the top six in the world, three Japanese pairs. better communication yeah it's good to see rather than just hitting down they've got to hit in a place that's going to involve the net player because I don't think they'll hit many winners from the back of the court
is the weakness in defence from Nina Veslova. Look, she's committed to the forehand defence. Hit towards her right hip. Right shoulder. She simply can't deal with it. So a three-point advantage at the mid-game interval. Having taken the first, of course, the number two seeds from Japan. And the two Japanese coaches talking to the players individually. Passing on, no doubt, some more words of wisdom. Yes, okay, coach. Um, okay, my dad no. just speaking to the Japanese coaches not to leave the court. 11 8 play. Vizlova used the channel attack down the centre of the court, narrowed the angle of reply, and then Sorokina able to intercept at the net and play the winner. Isolating his lower again. Oh, in the end, her defence just has to break down. So determined to use that forehand defence. You watch Vizlova here. One. It's pushed further and further to the side of the court. shot from Vizlova cross court opened up the court made her partner very vulnerable to the defensive shot up the sideline six point cushion now for the number two seeds it's over 10-15 
Service over. 85% of the work is Nina Vizlova. Oh. Oh, it's just seemed to rush that flick serve. European champions. Yeah. What a terrible indecision from Vislova was going to leave the shuttle at the back of the court by the time she played it. It was desperately loose shot. She's going to lose it. Yeah. Got to try and make up your mind as early as possible. Well, there's no doubt this lover is a hard worker on court. But some of the time I just don't feel it's channeled in the right direction. Not thinking enough by the about the exact placement of her shots. points away from victory for the number two seeds. Let's it drop Kakiwa. It falls long of that back line. So having survived a scare in that opening game, number two seeds from Japan now have seven match points. Only needed the one. Saved those two game points in the opening game when they were 18-20 down before converting. 22-20, 21-13 in the second game. Two straight games for the match lasting 45 minutes. Match won by Mizuki Fuji, Reika Kakikawa, 22-20, 21-13. Thank you. Yes. So the umpire just confirming the score at the moment of victory for the number two seeds from Japan. 
And in the semi-final tomorrow, they will play the winners of the Korean combination, the Pa Jong-un and Kim Ming jong up against Juhari and Poli of Indonesia. That match yet to be contested. But for the number two seeds, they're safely through to the semi-final. Signature from Mizuki Fuji and Oreka Kakiwa. Twenty-two, twenty, twenty-one, thirteen. They're margin of victory over the European champions Sorakina and Vizlova.